Hey folks, I'm David Thomas Tao with VinePair.com and today I'm reviewing George T. Stag. It is a cast strength bourbon from the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. This is the 2023 version. I go way more in depth in my written review, which you can read at the link in the description below. But I'm excited to taste this whiskey for the third time in the past week, give my thoughts, and uh, you know, spoiler alert, I normally love George T. Stag. It is like the front double bicep pose of bourbon. It is punchy, it is strong, and normally I love it. Did this year's hold up? Because they did release one this year. Remember, they didn't in 2021. We'll get into all that and more, but first make sure you subscribe to Vine Pair on the YouTubes. All right, George T. Stag. Um, I said it's like a bicep flex of bourbon. This is calf strength. It is unapologetic, it is punchy. Most George T. Stags, the age varies a little bit. They're about 15 years old. This is no exception, just over that 15 year mark. That's when Buffalo Trace dumps and batches and tastes um, the whiskey that would be George C. Stag, except in 2021, they didn't like it, so we didn't get a George C. Stag. This year's is exactly 135 proof. Now, certain years that have had lower proof points, like 2019 was, I think, just slightly below 120 proof or so. A lot of people don't like those as much. I actually don't mind some of the lower proof George C. Stags, but this expression tends to hit a sweet spot when it gets over 130 proof. Uh, we don't have a hazmat expression this year. Sometimes it takes over 140. Not quite that, but I think this is a generally good proof point for the expression. But let's talk about how to get it. Buffalo Trace has increased the MSRP slightly this year to $125. Ah, that won't make a difference for many people because this tends to command a premium on retail shelves and on the secondary market. Certain years of George T. Stag will vary a lot as far as what people charge for them. I saw, I saw the 2022 release recently for $1,100 on a shelf in New York City. I'm not gonna say whether you should pay that or not. That was on a retail shelf from a licensed liquor retailer. Look, Buffalo Trace, they can't dictate what retailers charge. We have something called the three-tier system in American Spirits, and the distiller really is pretty removed from the actual final sale of the spirit. All that to say, um, this is one that's very popular, tends to command a premium. If you think you can get it for close to the suggested retail, I would highly suggest it. And I'm gonna give a spoiler alert. You should watch the rest of the video though. I really like this expression. Not the best George cheese tag I've ever had, but certainly a worthy inclusion in the line. So normally with George cheese tag, I always keep a water dropper handy, but I'm professional in the life jacket today. I mean, try it neat first, see if you like it. And then you need to open it up because stag is like, George cheese tag is like, you know? Um, well, let's see if it's on the nose. Okay. so. I spent a lot more time with this when I wrote my full review and I let it rest in the glass a lot longer because I'm a professional, obviously. Stag's back, baby. Not that it necessarily went everywhere except for when they didn't release it, but woo, woo, root beer syrup, tobacco leaves, red hot cinnamon candy. I can do this all day. They literally pay me to just like yell flavor notes into a microphone. This is bold. I mean, it smells like, it smells like George C. Stag. Once you have George C. Stag, a lot of other, it doesn't like ruin you for other bourbons, but a lot of bourbons seem meek, right? George C. Stagg is like that dodgeball player in middle school who was just way too good, threw like way too hard for a bunch of, you know, 12 year olds, right? This is a bourbon that like wakes me up on the nose. I, I gotta be honest, if I did a lineup of all my favorite years of George C. Stagg, I'm not sure how differentiated the noses would be. The palates are very differentiated for me. That's what makes George C. Stagg either just really good all the way to like, this is the best whiskey I've ever tried, you know, because like, sometimes it's in the conversation. All right, let's try it. Another one, science. Have you ever wanted to drink just like the syrup from cola machines? I have, I've wanted to. I've never done it, but I remember there was a McDonald's when I was a kid and they got the proportions all wrong and there's way too much syrup in the fountain drinks and it was awesome. That's what this tastes like but with alcohol. Cola, a little tobacco and leather. It's not like George C. Stagg isn't balanced. I always say like, oh, it's bold, it's punchy. It is those things. There is balance here. There is like a nice little layer of fruit. There's a little layer of grain, a baked grain here. It's just that this bourbon is so unapologetically what it is that you really look for those spicy, punchy flavors. There's like a little citrus. There's not as much citrus as I get from some. Some George C. Stags, I get this ballooning element of orange. There's a little of that here. It doesn't build toward 
the mid palette as much as it has in the past. I do miss that. It's like you added citrus to your cola, and I really like that. It's a little bit of that this year, but not as intense. Finish is long, spicy, syrupy sweet. A little sweeter on the finish than some previous years. I don't mind that. Oak, the tannins. It's like, it's thirsty stag. It dries out in your mouth, okay? It, it does. Not in a bad way, because you just go back for more. But George C. Stagg is not like, I don't drink this after a meal. Like, this is my meal, right? That's what I like about this particular bourbon. 2023 George C. Stagg, not the best George C. Stagg I've ever had, but definitely one of the better bourbons I've had in recent memory, and certainly one of the better bourbons I've reviewed. I gave this 96 points. This is not the best whiskey I've had this year. It is not the best whiskey I've had in the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. Crazy Eagle Rare 17, which is normally one I don't love, took the crown this year. But this is a great George C. Stack. This is a pour I would never turn away. This is one where I want to sit down with friends and I want to share tasting notes and experiences because it is bold. I think that three people would get four different things from this. And that's a really cool thing about this bourbon. A really great George C. Stag that is worthy of inclusion in the line. Very, very much enjoyed it. Good job, Buffalo Trace. 96 points. Um, but let me know in the comments below. If you have a favorite year, favorite release of George C. Stag, let me know in the comments below. If you just think I'm an imbecile, let me know in the comments below. Is it imbecile or imbecile? If you just think I'm an idiot, let me know in the comments below. Until then, I'm David Thomas Tao, drinking the whiskey so you can too. 2023 George G. Stagg.